We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 with Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. He's also on Route 313. He's our neighbor. And we're getting ready to trim white pine trees today. So before we start to trim, we always like to give our guys a little bit of a lesson on how to do it. So while we're t training them, you can listen in and find out how you trim, when you trim, and the proper method of trimming white pine trees. Go ahead, how Mike. How doing, folks? Uh, here at Highland Hill Farms, we like to prune our uh, white pine trees Anytime from mid-June to maybe the first, second week of July, uh, we like to shear them back to help make a nice bushy plant. You can see this tree here is a little on the skinny side. What we like to do is come back. You can always tell the new growth. It's a lighter green color, a little darker green on the inside. What you want to do is take about a third to half of that off. So we just take a good sharp pair of head shears. We go around the tree and just take a little bit of that growth off. Like I said, a third to a half on all the new tips. Work your way around the tree. Uh, I like to go from top to bottom, that way you can start working on that nice pyramidal shape. It's really important when you prune the top of the tree, the, the longest, tallest one in the center is what we call the leader. You want to take about half the, the tips off that are around the leader, cut them back, and maybe cut that back by about a third. That'll still give you some height on your tree, and pruning this early, normally if you just let these things go on their own, they'll make about two or three flower buds, or two or three growth buds. You shear them back early enough, a lot of times you'll get five or six growth buds. That's real important for making a nice bushy tree. What you want to do is just work around your tree, symmetrically shaping it up real nice, tipping them back. And there you have it. If you have time, you want to move to another one, Bill? Sure. Okay. Here again, this one has a couple multiple leaders. What you want to do is pick the one that's the most center of the plant and you work your tips around it. Maybe take a half of that one off and then just work your way around the tree, just tipping it back. Some trees are a little fatter, some are a little skinnier. You just want to try to make them nice and symmetrical. Work your way around it slowly. And there you go. That's how we make a nice symmetrical plant at Highland Hill Farms. You guys, get to work. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. These are five to six and four to fives. Green Giant Arborvitae. We've got plenty of them here. Just give us a call, 215-651-8329. These are seven to eight foot Techni Arborvitae. Give us a call, 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are our skip laurels. We have two sizes. We have a larger size that's about 32 inches in a seven gallon pot and a smaller size in a five gallon pot. The smaller sizes are 35 and the larger sizes are 55 for the calendar year 2010. We also have bush type laurels, the auto lucans, and we sell a lot of other types of trees. Good morning, I'm Marge Hurst and this is Highland Hill Farm. I'm standing beside a five to six foot tall green giant arborvita. We have it on a drip line irrigation system so it stays moist and well kept. Okay, now these green giants are shipped all over the east coast, anywhere east of the Mississippi. We have them from four to five, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight, 10 to 12. And to give you an idea, we get on a tractor trailer load of the four to five foots, we get about 200 trees on there and they're $64 delivered anywhere east of the Mississippi. Our five to six trees, we get approximately 140 on a tractor trailer load. And these trees here delivered to you, these five to six foot trees that you see right here, are $72 delivered anywhere east of the Mississippi if you buy a, a tractor trailer load. If you buy less than a tractor trailer load, the price per tree may go up slightly. But uh, we do ship all over the East Coast. These are good to Zone 5, so if, if you just above Zone 5 in, in your location, these are a great tree. They grow 3 to 5 feet a year. They're very fast growing, very hardy, and deer resistant. Thank you. These are uh, Royal Red. It's a maple, similar to a Crimson King, but a little bit faster growing. These are about 3.5 to 4 inch caliper. 
give us a call, 215-651-8329. These are Blue Muffin Viburnum. It has white flowers in the spring and a deep blue berry in the fall. A very easy to grow viburnum. Doesn't get too large. Nice multi-stem shrub. Can grow under shade of other trees, even walnut trees. So it's a very durable, native viburnum that's easy to grow. We have lots of them here at Highland Hill Farm, as well as other trees, plants, and shrubs for you to come look at. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. That's Winterberry Holly. These are American Holly Alex of Paca. Give us a call, 215-651-8329.